Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. For anybody who is new here joining me today, thank you so much. So if this is your first time, my slogan is basically believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and watch or get involved, but I just like to do makeup that's much more natural and believable. So yeah, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please keep watching. So for today's video, I've decided to do one inspired by sunshine because there has been very little sunshine in London recently. The weather has been really off and um, I think we're all just craving some vitamin D. Well, I know I definitely am. So um, I thought I would do one inspired by my favorite color, which is yellow. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned that, or maybe I have, but yellow is actually my favorite color and um, I never really wear it as makeup. I always wear it as clothes or nail polish, but never really on my face. So I thought I would do something fun with yellow today. First, we're gonna get into brows. I'm using my NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil. And firstly, brushing up Stragolina, the weakest brow, and then moving on to this one. Just the difference is, look how full this one is in comparison, it's ridiculous. And then I'm gonna fill them in. First one on, and then I'm just gonna use a spoolie and just brush it through and make sure that it doesn't look too chunky. Chunky chips, yes. Chunky brows, no. Yep, and then just fill in this one, which is much faster and easier to do. Then I'm taking my Hourglass Brow Gel, and the colour I'm using is Dark Brunette. And this is actually a little bit light for my brows, but I don't mind them being a bit softer. So I'd say if you have quite dark brows, this will probably make them look light. But I'm kind of doing a softer brow anyway today, so I don't really mind it taking the strength of my brows down a little bit. Then I'm going to move on to my concealer. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. I'm just tapping that on first of all. I'm going to let that dry down just to get a bit more coverage out of it. And then I'm going to take some on a 239 brush from MAC. And I'm just going to carve out my brows a little bit. So whilst my concealer setting, we're going to move on to foundation and I'm using this today. This is the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation and I've heard lots about this. I was actually sent this product, but um, I've basically tried to shoot this video before and I didn't like how it looked, so I'm doing it again. So I have tried this. It's not really a first impressions anymore, um, but I really, really like this foundation. So it is waterproof, sweat proof. It gives um, full coverage with a natural matte finish. Basically, it answers all our dreams. I love the packaging because it's so tiny. So it's really good for um, travel. It's very light. And more than that, more importantly than that, you don't need a lot to get really good coverage. So um, I'm using the color G100. I think this retails for 38 pounds. You can get it from like Colt Beauty. If you just Google it, you'll find it online. And I'm literally, not exaggerating, using that much. Is that showing up? I don't know if you can see that because it's such a good match on my skin, but it's basically literally the size of a pea. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I like quite a natural coverage anyway. So for me, this is more than enough. You could get more, it's like buildable, so you can wear more of it and get more coverage. But when I tried it the first time, I put too much on because I didn't know how it was going to work out on my skin. So I'm literally gonna take my ring finger and just dot this on my cheeks. And then just, I'm taking a sculpting brush from Real Techniques and just buffing that in. I'm taking a Real Techniques dome shadow brush. Oh, I've got glitter on. So basically I did a job a few weeks ago and I use a lot of glitter and now I just keep finding it everywhere. But I'm taking this brush and just working in my concealer. And on this side as well. Okay, so now my skin's on, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. So, um, I am using Painterly Paint Pot from MAC as a base for my eyeshadow, because I really want the yellow to stand out. So, I'm gonna pop this underneath, 
just to intensify the yellow. And just use my ring finger and just pat that on and blend it onto the lid. And do the same on this side. And then next I'm taking Chrome Yellow Eyeshadow from MAC, which is a really bright yellow. And I'm just using a 239 and I'm just gonna get a small mirror. And then press the eyeshadow onto my lids. And you want to press the shadow in and not sweep or swipe, otherwise um, it goes quite patchy. And it's difficult to get the product to lay down, so just always press first. And then you can use the brush a little bit to soften edges and stuff. Then I'm taking a 224 shadow brush from MAC and I'm literally going to use some saddle and blend that through my crease. just to give it a bit of definition and to soften the edges of the yellow because I don't want it to be a really hard like cut creasy kind of look so I'm just using this to blend the edge away then I'm going back to the same brush that I use for the eyeshadow which is just a 239 from MAC and I'm starting to press this saddle onto the corner of my eye here just to create a bit of a blend there too. Then I'm taking a 221 brush from MAC which is just a small blending brush and I'm just working everything in together. I just want to add a bit more definition and darkness to the corner here so I'm taking Feline Coal Pencil from MAC and just putting it just on the outer quarter I'd say of my lash line because I don't really want it to be like a liner look but it just needs a little bit of darkness here. Then I'm taking a 219 pencil brush from MAC and literally just working that in here. Then I'm going back to the same brush using a bit of, um, using a bit of saddle eyeshadow and just softening that a bit more. So layer that on first then blend it away and then I'm going to, I've used one side for saddle and then I'm going to use the other side for the chrome yellow again and just really pack that on in here Okay, so I have like a real thing for liner. I love using liner on my eyes all the time, but I'm trying to break out of like habits. So today I'm not gonna use any eyeliner on the top of my eye, even though I kind of cheated a little bit, but I'm just gonna use mascara. So I'm going in first with my extended play mascara. And I use this one as a primer just to separate my lashes and give them a base before I put on my volumizing one. I use this on the tops and the bottoms. Then I'm going in with my In Extreme 3D Black Lash Mascara and I'm just going to go over the top of what I've done, just on my top lashes. And I want it to be quite a mascara heavy look so it's going to be bordering on clumpy, I may even take it to clumpy because I kind of like how that looks sometimes, just to um, make it look a little bit different. Then I'm taking that Feline Coal Pencil and I'm gonna add lots of black to my waterline. And I am gonna smudge it underneath as well. So maybe I should have done this before my mascara, but I have no plan. Like when I do these videos, I don't know what I'm gonna do really. I just know what colors I wanna use. So I have to improvise quite a lot because I changed my mind. So I'm just working this really well into the waterline and like through the lashes I don't want to see any skin then I'm taking that same 219 
And I'm just going to smudge this underneath. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. It makes it look a bit edgier. So now that all my eyes and stuff are on, I'm going to just touch up my skin a bit more, which we all know means more concealer. Go back with the same brush that I used before, the Dome Shadow Brush from Real Techniques, and just blend that through. And now I'm going to set everything. So I'm taking the setting brush from Real Techniques and then I'm using my dark mineralized skin finish just to go underneath the eye and down the sides of my nose. Then I go to the dark deep which is more red and just use that on the lower half of my face and on my forehead. So when I used to work at MAC there was a blusher that they brought out called Devil and it's an orange eyeshadow but I was just like I'm not wearing anything called Devil. My friend Panda used to laugh at me so much because I was just like I'm not I'm just not going to use it. So I use orange eyeshadow instead because I didn't want to put anything called Devil on my face. I know people think it's weird but I was just like no. No thanks. So I'm just using orange eyeshadow from MAC as blush. I'm just working that in. The eyeshadow is very pigmented so be careful that you don't put on too much and just make sure you really blend it in. See, this side looks a little bit too strong for me so I'm just going to take my foundation brush with no products on and just kind of use it as a rubber. A rubber, that's what we call them in England, but if you're in America or somewhere else in the world, you might call them an eraser. And just take down the edges of the blush. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. Now I'm going to move... Oh, this glitter. Now I'm going to move on to my lipstick. I've just got some lip balm on, so I'm just going to take that down. And I'm using half and half lipstick. Somebody asked me on my live on Sunday what my favourite lipstick was and I think I said this for nude. I just think it's it's got quite a peachy base to it so it's going to work really well with this makeup. And I'm taking Teddy Eye Pencil and just using that. to line my lips. I'm going to take a bit of this orange eyeshadow actually and just tap that on. It's changing the colour a little bit. Just putting more peach. Yeah, putting more orange in it. It's really I should have had a redder um, lip pencil. I didn't have one to hand so like I said I'm the queen of improvising. Just put some orange eyeshadow over the top just to change the colour. So guys, there you have it. This is the final look for today. I just thought it'd be fun to do something bright and colourful because I always do like nudes or like really um, conservative beauty looks, I think. So I just wanted to push the boat out and try something different. I actually really like it. I really like yellow. Um, I love that I didn't do like a winged liner because it would have been so predictable to do a winged liner with this look. I just think it's a bit more interesting just having the smudged black underneath. Um, oh, this foundation, I've worn it before, so I'm going to wear it for the whole day today and see how it wears, but I've worn it, I really love this. It reminds me of, like, it gives your skin that finish that face and body does with less shine and more coverage. So this is definitely, definitely a favourite of mine. Um, and the fact that it's waterproof and sweatproof and all that kind of stuff, and it's light and it's easy to travel with, like, yeah, it gets a lot of brownie points in me. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle for you here. I do lives on Sunday mornings around 9.30, so if you're interested or awake at that time, you can join me there. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.